I'll just talk about some of the other problems I had. So, um, a big problem with this machine is also um, the filling of it and uh, the filling E10 and I think E11 errors that come up on the screen. Now, there's a few different reasons why they can happen and basically, um, I'll just start at the most simple one. The most simple one is that over here where your cold water line attaches to your tap, there's actually a filter in there and if it gets clogged up with crap that's come through your um, water line, then it will slow down the rate that water can flow into the machine and the machine detects that because it uses all different timers and stuff and it throws the error at you and it'll just beep and beep and beep and beep because it, it, it I think they do that because it's worried that the machine might be like flooding your floor or something and they want to let you know but it's a really annoying beeping noise and you know your clothes aren't washing so aside from that I suppose you could you could follow this back and and if you take this off as well and look down in here where I've written T there that was just the tops in case I screwed up the way it was reinstalled but um, just under here there's also another filter and annoyingly it doesn't look like you can get it out so if you ever do have a problem with that I think the best way of cleaning the, the filter in there is probably to actually um, leave the machine more or less closed, hold a towel underneath and get like a, a, like a water hose or if you've got one like a dental water pick um, flossing thing that can shoot some water in there and, and like clean this um, filter out because I, as far as I can see there's no way to remove it because this is all one complicated uh, set of solenoids and molded plastic. Um, uh, but of course, you know, you can, you can actually just undo all these little barbs with, um, with a pair of pliers and, and, and like take the whole thing away and work on it though, um, which isn't a problem. Uh, the other th problem that I had, um, is this whole white section here is actually, uh, the bit that you put all your chemicals in, um, and what I found was the little sets, I was trying to show you them, um, no you can't really see it, but there's little sets of holes and, I think I'll take it out. There they are. There's little sets of holes there and they distribute the water over all the chemicals you've added. The problem I found was twofold. If you take this white thing out, you can actually disassemble the top and the bottom because you might be able to see it's it's just one big bit of molded uh, plastic on the top and then it, like a U shape uh, for the bottom bit. So you undo all of these clips around it once you've taken it out. And I found that there was two problems. The first problem is up here um, there's a really narrow passage where the water goes through there and goes through there from those tubes. Now it's only about probably one millimeter at its smallest diameter, um, probably li to limit the flow rate. And I found it had become clogged up with like biofilm, like organisms and stuff that just grow in, in water pipes because they're annoying and that's what they do. Um, so the first thing I did was um, uh, I, I basically took all of this white section and pressure cleaned it with a high pressure, like, um, you know, like a high pressure cleaner, like a gurney or, a, or, or any of those kind of machines. And um, I found that that got the biofilm out, but then I figured it's just going to happen again. So what I did is I got a drill bit and I drilled down the length of them to make them a bit wider. And now they're about three millimeters. Um, I was worried that that might increase the flow rate too much and that then the machine basically um, would like leak and water would come out of here but it doesn't actually do that I think the reason why it doesn't increase the flow rate is because the flow rate's inherently limited um, somewhere up near these solenoids inside this mold molded plastic there's probably another really narrow point which I suppose could also become blocked up and good, l good luck fixing that um, if, if that's your problem